do My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others you said Good morning Today is just one of these days where I don't feel like doing anything <laughs> but I've got some stuff to do. So I'm gonna take y'all along so y'all can give me some motivation. Hopefully it will motivate you, but we've got to get a few things done. Before we do anything though, I need to run to the grocery store. I'm just gonna run to Ruler Foods. We literally need a couple things. So I'm just gonna go there and pick this up and then we'll come back and get started. I've got some stock that I started yesterday I need to get that canned and processed in the canners so that way I can get that put on my shelf. And then I also need to make some bread. I need to restock bread for us for the week. Plus I have an order of focaccia that I need to get done today as well. So I need to do that. And then I just need to clean up stuff around the house. Y'all know how it is, just the daily cleaning. Get that stuff done. So let's go ahead and run to Ruler Foods and then we'll come back and get started on everything else. Here is everything that I picked up at Ruler Foods. I spent $59.21. I ended up finding a bag of onions on clearance for a dollar. So I picked that up. There's five in there. So I thought that was a pretty dang good deal. I got some sweet potatoes, bananas. Also got some apples. We have apples in the fridge, but I had one last night as a snack before bed. And it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't that good. It was working its way out. So I'm gonna take those in the fridge because there is a few of them and I'm going to either make applesauce, apple butter, you know, something out of that to use that up. And then I, you know, restocked so we can have some fresh apples. <laughs> also got some broccoli florets. Got two bags of Parmesan cheese. Y'all know I have been completely out of my tomato sauce that I had home canned. I'm so sad. But I picked up two of the Kroger brand ones just to put, um, you know, in the pantry to have whenever, you know, I need it. I also got some sour cream. Luke said, I'm sorry, honey, but I need my Miracle Whip. So, got him some Miracle Whip. And I've not bought this in so long because we just had like a stockpile of it, you know, in the basement. So, we've just been rotating, you know, through our food storage. Well, we're officially out. This is over $5.00 could not believe how expensive this stuff is goodness got some cheese i picked up um mild cheddar mozzarella and two blocks of colby jack and then luke needed to restock his work drinks so i ended up finding the dr peppers for 375 a six pack and you had to buy four so i went ahead and got this because that is such a good deal i um, you know y'all know this is something that we buy Every, you know every week every other week just as he needs it so this will last us a few weeks since i was able to stock up on it at a good price and then i also got him some more green tea and then another case of water we just kind of keep like a variety of different drinks in his cooler just because it you know it helps change it up and he's not drinking the same thing all the time um, but these are normally his go-to's plus l8 um, but there wasn't any l8 at uh, Ruler Foods. That's normally somewhere where I go like to Walmart to get it. But this is all I needed and I did not want to worry about going going to uh, Walmart. And I ended up finding these on sale so it just worked out. It all worked out. But this is everything. I'm going to get this put away and then I need to go ahead and get started on my breads. And then I need to get this stock canned up. Look at that. Beautiful and it smells so good in here. So let's work on all that next. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love. Like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight. Knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track. Everything but each other, I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other, didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things and I have to do with it But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know how to carry on 
I have just blamed my yeast for my focaccia. Now, I've already shared this in detail, so I'm not going to do it in today's video. I'll have a video linked down below for you guys. But I'm just going to go ahead and get this mixed up and let this sit. This has to go for about two hours. And then I'll do um, stretch and folds, you know, throughout. And then for my bread, I'm actually going to do a batch of my milk and honey loaf. I've shared that a thousand times on here. I'll have a video of that linked below as well. And the recipe, um, I'm going to do half a loaf of bread and half bagels for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just get both of these going. day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind Got it going and I realized I forgot the butter and the honey. That's a little bit, a little bit important. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground I am so surprised that I made this over here without spilling it. But I got this over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and scoop out the majority of the stuff that's in here and I'm just gonna salt it to taste. 
Um, this time I added in some turmeric. That's the only new thing that I added because y'all know there's a bunch of, you know, benefits to turmeric and I've been literally adding it into everything that I can. So I did add some to this. So I'm curious to see how it's going to taste this time. Um, I, y'all know I've been working on cleaning up my freezers. I'm rotating through a lot of the food that's just been sitting in there. Um, but I was gifted a, several chicken carcasses. We've got family that um, had meat birds, and so they butchered those meat birds, and she gave, they gave me the carcasses. And so I'm, um, you know, using this to make something absolutely delicious. So we're cleaning out the freezer, getting those uh, chicken carcasses rotated out of there. That way that frees up space. Plus I had a bunch of veggie scraps and some other veggies that were actually, I had some frozen veggies that were actually freezer burnt that I found in the bottom of my deep freezer. Um, so I threw those in here as well. Um, that was another great way to use up some of that, that, you know, you might normally throw away because it is freezer burnt. You know, you can't, you know, sometimes you can't add that stuff into recipes. Um, but I threw it in here and it smells so, so good. So I'm happy to start, you know, really making a point to get through our freezers and rotate through. I want to, you know, kind of use, especially the stuff, you know, like where we've changed how we eat and how I cook. Um, a lot of stuff is just kind of sitting in there. So I'm kind of just trying to make a point to rotate through it. Um, and that way I can have room to restock with the stuff that, you know, y'all know I'm making a lot more stuff from scratch, homemade and prepping the things you know, keep it in the freezer. So I'm pulling out the stuff we normally, like we're not eating right now, using it up, and then that gives me extra space to restock with what I want in there. Um, a lot more, you know, homemade and from scratch stuff. So this is a good one to clean out because this made a whole um, roaster pan full, and then I'm just gonna do, I like doing quarts and I like doing pints, that way I have both on hand whenever we need, you know, just in case if I need it for like a soup, or just something smaller. We also like to warm this up and drink this when we are sick. It really helps soothe the throat. And you know, there's a lot of yummy, healthy benefits um, to a chicken stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this processed. And I need to work on getting the house picked up after I get this going. <laughs>
Don't forget that I am an affiliate through Four Jars. Still at 100% seal rate. My coupon code and link is always in the description box for you guys. So Y'all can save you some money at checkout. Absolutely love the lids. I need to stock up because that's be canon season and I need to make sure I have enough on hand. So I'm gonna get these going. I've got both of my carry electric canners out. So I'm just gonna get what I can in these. I ended up getting nine total. I got three pints and six quarts. I had somebody ask about like the fat cap, which I think they were referring to more of the beef. Um, but you know, this one has a little bit on it as well. These are pretty uh, fatty, I guess. Um, it doesn't bother me. I don't like cool it down, strain that off, reheat it and process it again, or, you know, process it. It doesn't bother me. It's, you know, always just a little bit at the top. And then I do run it through a couple different strainers, but I don't use like cheesecloth or anything like that. Cause even those little bitty bits in there, that don't bother me either. The flavor's still delicious. And if I, y'all know me, if I can skip a step safely, I will do so. And so that stuff doesn't bother me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get these processed. Um, don't forget just to uh, Google for your proper time depending on your altitude.
cans are going, so it's a little loud in here, but the dough's done. All I got was to start cleaning the living room. We'll see if I can get everything done before I gotta go pick Winston up. So I'm gonna do half of this. loaf of bread and then half some bagels Focaccia, look at that. Woo. It's ready for its final rise. So I've just oiled my pan real good and I've made sure that the oil is also on the sides. So one thing I did different this time, which I normally do stretch and folds, but this time I did coil folds, which, hold on. So I did coil folds, which I just like, like that. I did that this time. It still looks just as bubbly and really good. So I think either way, you know, this is easier, honestly, in my opinion. Um, just, you know, coil folding it with the bowl. So I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes on here for its final rise. And then we'll add the um, toppings and everything. This one is gonna be a garlic and herb with some Parmesan cheese. Looking for 
we are now in the pickup line. I did not get everything done that I had originally planned, but it's all right. I'll finish it up either later today or tomorrow. I didn't get to finish sweeping everywhere because my vacuum died. I thought I had it plugged in. Well, it was plugged into the vacuum itself, but I didn't check the cord from the vacuum to the outlet. I had accidentally unplugged it and so it wasn't charging all night. So I'll have to vacuum later. I did want to dust and I had a couple windows that I needed to wash because of this one back here. I had um, a funny comment whenever I was doing my spring cleaning video and it said, you wash your windows so much. I have to because of that thing, right? Do I have to wash the windows because of you? Always. But all the bread's done. Whenever um, the stock cools down and I can open the canners, I'll sit that out and I'll share a clip of that. But that is it for me today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for giving me some motivation. I was able to get quite a bit done. I got the get up and go thanks to you guys. I hope that it gave you guys some motivation as well or just some entertainment. But I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.